Welcome to Crystal Clark's wellness segment. My name is Deborah Liu. Today, we are going to target the deepest core muscles, the, the core muscles that give us true core strength uh, to help protect our back, to help us in daily functional movement, as well as any sports or activities that you enjoy. We're gonna um, attack these muscles in a creative way by using a resistance band. If you don't have a pretty light to medium weight resistance band, then don't worry, you can, if you have a PT, those long ones, you can cut it and tie it just about shoulder width apart, or you could use a strap, you could use any rope or anything to create some resistance, or you could do without, all right? But um, you'll see that with the band that you can activate the core a lot more efficiently. So for deep core strength, we're going to just do five moves eight times. Try to do these daily and you will really see a difference. The first move, we're gonna take the band around our wrists, pull your shoulder blades down so that you can really connect with the lat muscles. And then once you connect with the lat muscles, that helps you connect with the deep core muscles. Push the arms apart to create some tension coming down onto your backs for a single leg stretch. Draw your right side into your chest. Your left leg is higher if you're not as strong, lower if you're stronger. Always pushing your navel down into the spine and lengthening your tailbone away from the crown of the head. You gotta really feel that pulling away of the tailbone. All right, shoulder blades down, push the arms apart. Good, and then you wanna keep straight arms and take it straight as far behind your ears as possible or just a little bit in front. The further back it is, the harder it is. Take a big breath in, exhale, push your navel down. Good, and we're just gonna bend the left leg now and straight to the right, and then switch it. That's the move eight times. Let's go, inhale, exhale, bend the left, and then the right one. Left, keep the arm straight, right two, left, right three, push the belly button down, left, right four, left, right five, left, right six, left, right seven, left and right for eight and release. Just roll the head side to side a little to release the tension in the neck. All right, so next is our double leg stretch. So again, push the band apart, pull your shoulder blades down, tuck your both knees into the chest, extend your arms forward over the shins, curl your tailbone up a little, push your belly button down into the spine. Take a big breath in, extend arms and legs, and then exhale, pull it in. That's our move eight times. Here we go. Inhale, lengthen, use your exhale, push belly button down, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, straight arms, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Navel to the spine. Inhale, exhale, six. Push the band apart, inhale, exhale, seven, and inhale, exhale, exhale, tuck in for eight, and release, little rocking of the head side to side. Okay, next one, my absolute favorite, you really are gonna feel this. So both legs straight up, if you have tight hamstrings, you can slightly bend the knees. Pull your shoulder blades down and reach the arms straight up. The arms do not move now. Take a big breath in, exhale, curl the shoulders up, and you're gonna split the legs. Left leg drops a little, right, legs comes, right leg comes forward, and you're gonna just tap that band twice. Then you're gonna switch it. All right, here we go. The right leg tap, tap, left leg tap, tap one. Right, left tap, tap two. Right, pull your navel to the spine, left three. Right tap, tap, left tap, tap four. Right tap, tap, left tap, tap, five. Push your lower back into the mat. Right tap, tap, left tap, tap, six. Right tap, tap, left tap, tap, seven. Very good, one more. Right tap, tap, left tap, tap, eight, and release. A little rocking of the head side to side. Okay, our fourth move. Take the band around the arches of the feet and push the legs apart from you. We're going to inhale and drop the legs for a count of three. They're not gonna go very low. And on the exhale, push your belly button down. Use your core to take the legs up in one count. And then inhale three down and exhale one up. All right? Okay, just uh, stacking the hands behind your neck, draw your shoulder blades down, feel the connection with the core pushing into the spine. Breath in. 
Breath out, shoulders up. Inhale, drop it down for one, two, three. Use your exhale, take it back with control up to perpendicular to the mat. Inhale, two, two, three. Exhale, take it up. Inhale, three, two, three. Exhale, up. Inhale, four, two, three. Exhale, up. Inhale, five, two, three. Exhale, up. Inhale, six, two, three. Exhale, up. Inhale, seven, two, three. Exhale, up. Push your belly button down, push your lower back down. Shoulders up. Inhale, one, eight, two, three. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Take it up and release. Keeping the band around the arches of the feet, we're gonna go into a bicycle loop. Okay, so you push the left leg away and then lift and twist to the right and try to touch that knee. And then to the other side. But now we want to keep constant tension in the band so we don't want there to be that slap when you switch the feet cross each other. So you, the foot has to kind of go out a little and then come back in. Out a little and come back in, all right? So just keep constant tension. Lower back to the mat, all right? Okay, good. So take a big breath in. On the exhale, curl the shoulders up and twist the right and bend your right leg and push that band away with the left. And here we go. To the left, to the right one. To the left, to the right two. Lift and twist. To the left, to the right three. Left, right four. Navel to the spine, left, right five. Left, right six. Left, right seven, you've got this one. Left, and to the right for eight, and release. All right, so deep core muscles, <clears throat> five moves, eight times. Try to do it every day or several times a week, and you will see the difference. Thank you.